Hey, welcome back to the Edron Workshop. I'm Luke and I hope you're having a great day. I've had a few requests for a TD50 custom kit loading video for the kits that I sell on my store at theedronworkshop.com or for any other company that sells TD50 kits and provides individual .td0 files for them. This tutorial is exclusively for the one kit load method of installing individual kit files, as that's the only method that I use for my kits. I do provide installation instructions with the kits that I sell as a read me PDF file and it's overall a pretty simple process, but if you're new to the module or it just helps to see it in action rather than reading the instructions then this video is for you. To complete the installation you'll need a computer with an SD card slot or an SD card reader and an SD card. You'll also need to make sure that you're running the latest software version on your module. Each time I create a new pack I'll be using whatever the most recent software is, so make sure that you're up to date as the newer packs might only install properly on the most recent version. You can download the software update from the Roland website and follow the installation instructions there. I won't be demonstrating that in this video. If you're not up to date, pause the video, go do that now and then come back to this guide. I'll leave the relevant links in the description. You also need to make sure that your SD card has the correct file structure on it. The easiest way to do that is just to format your SD card on the Roland module and it will do it for you. There's instructions for this in your TD50 manual. If your SD card already has other files on it, make sure to to back those up before you do this so that you don't lose anything. Personally, I recommend having an SD card specifically for your module, and again there's links in the description to the one that I use, and I just leave it in the module until I need it. So we'll start over at the computer, after downloading and unzipping the zip file, you'll be left with a folder that contains the .td0 files for whichever kits you've purchased. I've just done it straight to the desktop here for ease, and in this case I'm using the powerful and punchy pack from my store as the example. This folder contains eight .td0 files, named from kit 102.td0 up to kit 109.td0. This is one aspect that does throw people sometimes because it's unique to my kits. I started the file names from the 100s because I felt that this was the best way to avoid file name conflicts with other vendors that also create kits like Vex and Drumtech. You can rename these .td0 files if you prefer so that you don't need to scroll all the way up to kit 100 plus on the module, however if you do you need to stick to this naming convention that you can see here. You can only change the numbers in the file name, not the kit hyphen part, or the .td0 extension if it's visible. Depending on your computer, the .td0 extension might be hidden from view. If you don't keep to this format, the module will not read them, so I recommend to leave them as they are. So from here, insert your SD card into your computer or card reader. There's a chance that it might pop up and tell you that there's a problem with it, but don't bother fixing it, it's fine. Then navigate through the folders into Roland, TD50, kit and you'll need to copy these .td0 files over into the kit folder. The kit folder on your SD card might be empty or it might have other kits that you've saved yourself or bought in there. In my case here it's got my other two packs in it, Famous Volume 1 and the EDW Original Studio. Those kit numbers are higher than the pack that I'm loading so there's not going to be any conflicts. You can either drag and drop the files over or copy and paste whichever you prefer, let it copy the files and you're done. Safely remove the SD card from your computer with whichever method your PC or Mac uses and you're ready to head to the module to load the kits. Insert your SD card into your TD50's card slot while it's off, then turn it on. When it's booted up, press the SD card button up at the top, press down and then right to highlight one kit load and hit enter. Make sure you don't accidentally select the one kit save page as you could end up overwriting the kits and then having to reload them to your card. So you're on one kit load and by default it will be starting on kit number one on your SD card, which in my case has nothing in the slot because I haven't got a kit001.td0 file on my SD card. If you're using this guide to load a kit from my store, you need to scroll up to at least kit 102 as that's where the powerful and punchy kits start. If you're loading Famous Volume 1, they'll start at kit number 110, and if you're loading the EDW Original Studio, they'll start at kit 120, and then future packs will start even later than this. Scroll up to the desired kit, here I'm loading the Don from kit 102, Make sure this little with user samples box is checked up at the top if the kit that you're loading has them. At the time of recording, every kit that I sell except for the B variation of the Barker kit has samples. And you can tell which ones have samples from this little icon here. The box should be checked by default for any kit that contains user samples, but it's best to make sure and if it's not checked, just go up and use the dial to check it. If you do load the kits without the samples, then they won't sound right. Next, go down and select the kit slot 
that you want to load the kit to. You can place it in any kit slot out of the 100 available. I'd recommend one of the user kits which start from kit 56 on the most recent software version, but if you're already using a lot of these slots for other kits, you might need to go even higher or overwrite a stock kit that you don't use. I'm going to load it to kit 56. So you just hit the bottom function button, F5, which is labelled here as load. It'll ask you if you're sure, so just hit right and then enter to confirm and it will load the kit. You get a little completed message and it's done. The user samples are automatically loaded onto the module and assigned to the correct kits with the correct play type options. Then you just need to repeat these steps if you've got more kits to load. And that's it, that's the whole process. As I said, it's nothing too complex, but I know that some people do prefer visual guides. If you found this useful at all, pop a like on the video, subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with future kit releases, tips, tricks, tutorials, news and reviews. This particular collection is available on my store to purchase at the eDrumworkshop.com if you're interested, and links in the description to my other TD50 packs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!